YouTube, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we're going to review the Mountain House freeze dried beef stroganoff with noodles. Let's check it out, see if it's any good. Okay guys, in this first installment of the Mountain House uh, review, uh, delicious meals anytime, anywhere. Okay, the freeze dried, we've got, today we're going to try the beef stroganoff with noodles. Okay, it's 4.8 ounces, which is 136 grams, and it's got 10 grams of protein per serving. Here, I'll show you the nutrition facts on the back here. If you can see that, let me zoom in just a little bit for you. So maybe you can pause that and read it at your convenience. Let me get this down here. Okay, so, whoops. All right, uh, you may have seen the, um, the video I did on this. Monkey got uh, 10 of these for five bucks. She did a great job. Uh, this box weighs 1.3 kilograms. It's 2.98 pounds, 47.7 uh, ounces. So, uh, there's 25 servings. There's 10 entrees. There's 25 serv servings in this box here. Now, I'm not sure what they're calling a serving, but, uh, you know, and there's your ingredients. But, um, let me see here if I can find it. Um, I'm not sure... Uh, there's 10 in here, so two servings would be, per pack would be 20, so I'm not sure how they're doing it, um, but anyway, so we've got this here, and I have already got water boiled and ready to go, and I'm going to get it right now. Okay, so we've got our water over here now. Uh, easy to prepare. Open package at tear notch. Remove and discard oxygen absorber from pouch. Okay, so there's a tear notch, one on each side here. See that? So we're going to tear this open. Okay. And here is the uh, little oxygen pouch. Do not eat that, it says that, but anyway, so. Then it says, carefully add two cups, which is 16 ounces, of boiling water to pouch, okay? So let's go ahead and do that, which I already have in my tea kettle here. Um, it's already boiled. There's exactly 16 ounces in here, two cups, maybe a little less now since it boiled. But we're going to go ahead and put this in here. Okay. Now... It says, stir thoroughly and close zipper. Let stand eight to nine minutes. Stir and serve. For your convenience, eat, eat right out of the pouch. Okay, let me grab a fork. I forgot a fork, I'm sorry. Now we have our fork. I usually try to have everything out here for you guys. But. Okay, so let's get this um, stirred up thoroughly. Mix it. Um, I was commenting I thought we did a review on one of these and uh, one of our viewers, Carmen, she was right. It was biscuits and gravy and they were good. I've always liked these. I just can't afford to eat them. I can't afford $9 a, a pouch of this stuff all the time, you know, or even once in a while. I mean, for two servings, uh, it sounds like a lot, but really it's not. You're only getting two cups. If you look at a cup, it's not really that much. So we're going to set this right down here, and I'll show you inside here what it looks like. You see that? All right. I see some beef. Now let's close the pouch up. Just It's just a zipper pouch, just like a Ziploc baggie. Close it up. And then that's all we need to do for eight to nine minutes, right? It was eight to nine minutes. So let's give this eight to nine minutes. Then we're gonna see how it tastes. 
Okay, guys, we're back. It's been eight minutes, and let's see what this looks like. Um, here, I'll just tip you down in here. And that's what it looks like. So I'm going to stir it up. We're going to give this a taste. See if we like it. Um, I I usually like my stuff a little thicker than that. So, like the next time, I will probably only add a cup and a half. Um, I mean, it's okay. I'm going to taste it without salt first because I I love to put salt on beef stroganoff. Um, get a little, try and get a little piece of beef here. Okay. It's very hot. Okay. It's good. I mean, it's not going to knock your socks off. It's not spectacular, but for freeze dried, it is very good. Let's try a little salt. Still a little too hot. I probably should have let it cool down. Try a little bit of this with salt. I mean, no complaints. Um, it's very good. It does kind of have a homemade flavor to it in a way. Um, yeah, I, I do like it. It does get a thumbs up. Um, flavor, you know, I rate the flavor an 8, eight out of 10. Um, as far as price, I give it a 1 out of 10 because I just think that is just, um, that just cost, cost too, too, too much money. I mean, $9, you get about two cups. It's two servings. Um, that's one meal, you know, uh. If I was a backpacker, you know, I mean, nine dollars to stop along the hike and uh, have have a bite to eat, I still think is is too pricey. When um, you can bring a pack of ramen noodles for what a buck, if that, because um, you still got to heat water, um, mix it up and all that. Uh, so. To me, no. Um, even for emergency meals, that is too pricey. Like I said, you can go get ramen noodles. You can get a cup of noodles. You can get that. You know, you can get a case of ramen noodles for what two dollars, a couple bucks, um, and it's good. Uh, I the price, I'll give it a one. Um, I just I, I think it's too expensive uh, because, like I said, that would be over over ninety bucks. You know, be around what ninety five dollars plus tax for ten meals. Um, let's just say you know after tax. I, I mean, you're looking at almost ten bucks a meal. I know what you're going to say. Well, well, go go to uh, uh, you know McDonald's or, or whatever. You're going to spend that. Yeah, you are. But if you're backpacking or you're you know you're hiking, you're you're camping. You know, if you're that close to a McDonald's, more power to you. But uh, I just. I, it's just too too damn expensive um, she got it for a good deal yeah she did uh, that I'm not being paid by these guys I'm not getting anything from them this is my review in my opinion it's great food I've had it before um, I've gotten it on sale before for like five bucks uh, um, bag at Walmart in Ohio a couple times I picked up a few bags I didn't do a review on them I just had them and I uh, took them camping with me but um, I no, just the price is just too much. Um, even at five dollars a bag is a little steep, but that's more more feasible um, because uh, then you know I could say okay five dollars for the flavor, yes, um, but um, nine ten dollars is not mm, no no it's just too much. So there you go. That's my overall review. Um, Easy to make, handy. Uh, the flavor is awesome. Very, very good flavor.
price sucks. <laughs> so guys, thanks for watching my review. Stay tuned for some more. Uh, Monkey's going to do some with me. Um, we're going to go from there. Uh, so, alright guys, thanks a lot. If there's anything you would like to see us try, leave it in the comments below. And if it's humanly possible for us to do that, we will. Or I probably will. Hell, I eat dog food, you know, come on. So... <laughs> Bye-bye, <laughs> guys. Shea Bird, Myth Man, Legend. Y'all be cool. We'll chat soon. Bye-bye. Take care.